Coming in at number 88 with Cleveland Browns wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr., who, you know, I fully anticipate getting some backlash for, right? Just in terms of him even being on my list in the first place. But to me, it's just too soon to sell my stock, right? And in that, I'm just asking for one more year. I want to see, is he going to come back and return to that elite top five wide receiver form? Or is he going to sort of fall into that next tier, right? You know, he's a guy that when he's healthy, he's been incredibly productive. He's, you know, seven seasons in the league, two of them shortened due to injury, the other five thousand yard seasons, right? Add some context to that, he's been the number one offensive threat on each one of those teams. You know, when the defensive coordinator sits down every single week and they say, who do we need to shut down to beat the Giants, to beat the Browns, it's been Odell Beckham. And for him to put up those numbers, with that being said, I think that he deserves a little bit more respect than people are giving him, right? I think he deserves a little bit of, you know, kind of the benefit of the doubt, right? In that regard, I'm going to give it to him for one more year. As I said, make or break year. But let's hop into the film and see just what it is that I think when healthy he does that makes him so special. The first thing that I think begins to set Odell apart from the rest of the league are his hands, right? And everybody's going to remember him for the catch, you know, the beautiful falling backwards one-handed grab against the Cowboys in 2015. However, to me, if that's all you really think about when it comes to Beckham's hands, you're kind of doing him a disservice just in terms of what he's able to do week in, week out uh, when it comes to his consistent ability to really pluck the ball out of thin air regardless of his predicament. You know, it just doesn't matter who's around him or even where the ball's thrown for the most part. Odell, with his incredibly high level hand-eye coordination, has a pretty high chance of hauling it in regardless. I would say it's phenomenal and in large part I think that's due to his concentration, right? You know, just the level of focus required to be able to go up knowing that a guy's beating down on you about to take a massive shot whether it's a hard-hitting killer like Jamal Adams as you see there or you know more of a rangy guy like you see on this play with with Quincy Wilson to Odell it's just noise you know he, he perfectly times his jump locates the ball tracks it in fights through the contact and secure the grab regardless of that noise and, and it's just it's just truly masterful stuff you know this play there are really three DBs in his vicinity goes up brings it in regardless you know, especially when you consider the fact that Odell is only 5'11", too. You know, the way he's able to go up and win these 50-50 ball, you know, contested catch situations, almost like he's 6'2 or 6'3", it's just incredible. And I would say just another one of the things that really set him apart from really the vast majority of his peers. I think this is a pretty good example here where you see him on, you know, this is Stephon Gilmore, 2019, obviously the defensive player of the year. But watch how he not only gets a step on Gilmore, but was able to go up climb the ladder, show off the concentration, show off the hands, and the ability to withstand contact from Duran Harmon there uh, from his blind side as he ultimately hauls in the wonderful grab. Just great stuff, and I think you could say the same for his body control, right? It really does play uh, a big role in his ability to make so many of these highlight reel grabs. He's clearly an explosive athlete, which we'll touch on in a little bit, but he's so good also at contorting his body, whether it's these sort of precision toe tap grabs in the back of the end zone, or you know this one's going to be along the sidelines, whether it's you know laying out for a diving play or climbing the ladder like we've already seen it just seems like his spatial awareness and feel for where he's at on the field is just remarkable and kind of on another level. Similarly, I think that that very same body control plays a pretty massive role in terms of Odell's success as a route runner as well. You know, he just has a phenomenal understanding of leverage and whether it's these sort of subtle hesitations, head fakes, stutter steps, changing speeds, you know, manipulating guys with his eyes, working into their blind spots, whatever it is, Odell just has an extremely deep bag of tricks that when healthy, I would say puts him right up there with the best. You know, you're going to see him working into Sherman's blind spot there uh, against him in cover three, obviously, for a nice play on the out. You're going to see here uh, a good read on this corner route where he just quickly and, and very subtly, you know, plants hard with his right foot, fakes with his head inside, which holds the safety and keeps his shoulders square to the line of scrimmage for, you know, just a split second as Odell is able to plant then and redirect himself back outside for the corner route. That being said, that quickness and agility on display throughout his routes also makes him incredibly solid after the catch as well, just in terms of being able to, you know, cut on a dime, make guys miss, and really get wherever he wants to go on the field, which... You know, I really like this next play from uh, this past season against the Cowboys where you're going to see it on full display on this end round where you know, it essentially makes the entire defense miss. And, you know, it's even plays like these that obviously wouldn't be possible without that agility and elusiveness, but also I would say the speed and acceleration, you know. He's not necessarily a burner by any means, uh, but he was a 4-4-3, 40-yard dash guy back at the NFL Combine coming out of LSU. So, you know, as long as he's able to recover fully from this torn ACL and remain the high-level athlete that he is, 
I think throughout this video, you guys have kind of seen that there's really nothing that he can't do on the football field, you know? Whether it's, you know, playing from the slot, beating you from the outside, some of those end arounds. He'll even throw a couple of passes a year if you ask him to. I know this one they asked Jarvis, but uh, we'll see one of Odell's later on. It's just, it just phenomenal what he can do, you know? He'll beat you with his speed and athleticism. He'll, he'll make you look silly with his route running. He'll climb the ladder and win some of these 50-50 jump ball scenarios as well. And in that regard, I really do believe that we could be in line for a big bounce back year out of Odell. And that's why I just think it's kind of too early to bail on him entirely like it seems everybody else is doing, you know? Luckily for his sake, I will bring up that you know, I kind of mentioned in the intro, he's always been that number one offensive focal point. I would say now with the emergence of Nick Chubb, you know, the improvements uh, that we think we saw to Baker Mayfield, you know, this might be the easiest role Beckham's ever had. You know, if we can get number one quality play out of Odell in sort of the number two offensive weapon role, I think the sky's the limit for for not only Beckham, but really this entire Browns offense this upcoming season, you know, it's something that people seem to be just underrating when they're talking about this team, the impact that Odell could have. But if you think people are underrating the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So that way you're always in the loop with my future videos. Because for today, I'm mic'd up and I'm mic'ing out. Peace, guys. I'll see you next time.